And this is question 20, which I guess is probably one of the most useful questions to do. Um, it is really easier than you think it is. You just need to know where to start. But then I guess you can say that about everything. Um, okay, so we're going to just get the pen out. I have to say I do really like annotating on the PowerPoint compared to Word document because it freezes half of the time. Um, all right, so methanol is sometimes used as a fuel additive in heavily modified racing cars as it has a very high octane rating. You've given the thermochemical equation for the combustion of methanol. And then you need to work out molar heat of combustion, heat of combustion in kilojoules per gram, and heat of combustion in megajoules per liter. So I'm just going to start with the first part. I think I'm going to go back and forth, actually. Now, part I, you need to find the molar heat of combustion. And essentially what it is, heat of combustion is another, is the magnitude of delta H. So molar heat of combustion in this case is equivalent to um, energy release when you burn one mole of methanol. Energy, energy release per one mole of CH3OH. Okay, so this is this is the unknown, essentially, the energy release. And from the thermochemical equation, you are given a ratio between energy released, because it's delta H, and the number of mole of methanol as indicated by the coefficient, which is 2. So from equation, I have um, E released. Well, I have a per number of mole of CH3OH from the equation. This ratio is 1450 kilojoules for every two mole. And this energy released per number of mole of methanol has to equal to the ratio of E release for one mole because the substance is the same. And from here, it should be very simple to calculate um, because I literally just need to divide. So E released per one mole is going to equal to 725 kilojoules per one mole. If you just simplify this fraction, which means that the molar heat of combustion is 725 kilojoules per mole. OK, so that's the answer for the first part. Similarly, for the second part, uh, yeah, we're going to do it here. So the second part, you need to find heat of combustion in kilojoules per gram. So once again, I'm going to create a little ratio using the unit that is given to me. So in kilojoules per gram, which means that I need to work out the energy released per one gram of methanol. OK, now if we, you can use the ratio from the equation, or you can use your answer from part i. It's probably a good idea to use the ratio from the equation, just in case you make a mistake in the first part, then it wouldn't carry on. So from equation again, the ratio that I have is 1450 kilojoules of energy released for every two mole of CH3OH. Now, the trick here is to be able to convert this ratio of energy over number of mole to energy over mass, which is the one that you need to find. So in order to go from mole to mass, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out, I'm going to find um, mass of 2 mole of CH3OH. And if n is 2 mole, mass 
it's going to be two times the molar mass. Um, I'm going to use a couple of units. Well, I can. I think it's 32 or something. 12 plus 16 plus 4. Yeah, so 32 is the molar mass of methanol, which means the mass is going to be 64 grams. So from here, we can change this ratio from 1450 kilojoules per 2 mole to 1450 kilojoules per 64 grams of CH3OH, since 2 mole has the, a mass of 64 grams. And this has to equal to what you need to find, which is energy release for every one gram of CH3OH. And now I just need to simplify, simplify, simplify this ratio um, or move the one to the other side, depending on how you want to look at it. But E release is going to be 1 times 1450 divided by 64, which is 450 divided by 64. So 22.7, 22.67 kilojoules, which means that the heat of combustion in kilojoules per gram, the heat of combustion is, so now you're going to put the correct unit, 22.67 kilojoules per gram. So that's part, the second part. And the last one is heat of combustion in megajoules per liter, and you're given the density. Okay, um, so number three is heat of combustion in megajoules per liter. So I need E release. I need to convert it to megajoules. Now, just this is something that you can check from the um, data book, but one megajoule is 10 to the 3 kilojoules. Energy released in megajoules over one liter of methanol is essentially what we need to find. And we are given the density of methanol, density of methanol which is, let's see, 0 0.787, 0 0.787 grams for every mil. And what density is, once again, is just a ratio between mass and volume, in this case of methanol. So this is what we have. We need to find this. If we go back to part two, from the equation, we have been able to create a ratio between energy and mass. So if we could convert this so from equation, let me just write that down again. And from part B, we have 1450 kilojoules is the energy released for every two mole of ethanol. And this is equivalent to 1450 kilojoules of energy released for every 64 grams of methanol since the mass of two mole methanol is 64 grams so now if i could only convert this ratio to energy per volume of methanol i would be able to um, make it equivalent to the unknown and in order to do that you need the density i'm just going to flip um, the ratio a little bit, I essentially need to find the volume of CH3OH that is in 64 grams. And you know that has to equal with one milliliter of CH3OH in 0 0.787 grams, because this is the density of uh, methanol. The main reason why I flip the ratio is just so that the unknown is on the numerator, which makes it a little bit easier to transpose and solve for it. Um, it takes a little bit less time. So the volume is 64 times 1 over 0 0.787, which is so 64 times 1 over 0 0.787, so 81.32. 
um, the unit here is going to be mil since you have one mil here and I am going to convert it to liter 0, 8, 1, 3, 2 liter since I need it to be in energy release per liter anyway. So you can convert this ratio now to 1450 kilojoules of energy for every 0 0.0813 liter i'm just going to change the l there so it looks more like an l okay and this is supposed to equal to energy release for every one liter so you should be able to just simplify the ratio to get the energy release per one liter e release is just going to be i mean the one is just for sure but 1450 kilojoules divided by 0 0.08132 um, try 1450 divided by so I get 17,830 and because the unit of energy here is kilojoules this is also in kilojoules and now I need to convert it to megajoules by dividing by a thousand and you will end up with 17.8 17.8 the density was given with three sig figs i'm going to go with three megajoules which means that the heat combustion heat of combustion and now i'm going to put the correct unit in for the answer heat of combustion is 17.8 megajoules per liter and that is the answer to part three easy peasy Yes, I want to keep that and...